Yo, what is going on guys? I'm Dalt Red and today I got Toto Package and PV Palmer and we're going to do a vape discussion. And uh, this vape discussion is going to be about builds. And are complicated builds better or worse or meh for competitive and regular vaping itself? What I'm running tonight, I'm, I'm on the Congestus, on the Mephesto RDA, and I have a Clapton build with organic cotton. And I'll actually hold that up right there so you can see the Clapton. My camera is a little off. Focus, focus, don't be a cunt. There you go, now you That's can see it. That's a bad it. word. Delete. Alt, control, delete, control, delete. Okay. And uh, Toto, why don't you tell them what you're running tonight? Cool. I am running, well, I'm actually running two mods, but my uh, primary is the Sub Home Innovation Sub Zero Competition mod. I'm also running a Firebird RDA by Phoenix Box Mods. And my build is a G Plat Haywire dual 5 wrap spaced around a 3.5 millimeter bit. Whatever the fuck that means. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, why don't you show them what you got going on here? Even though your uh, camera's like a little chunky. I've got two mods on me. Uh, my primary is going to be a noisy kick pitch, cricket with a mutation V4 on it. Got a, uh, let's see, 22 gauge 12 wrap on there. And aside from that, I just got my IPV4 with just a standard matrix tank. All right. Aaron's camera is a little messed up tonight, and that's okay because we're not all in the same room. We are at each. We're at our own houses, and we're trying to do this over Google Hangouts. So it's a little complicated. But um, the both of these guys have been in the competitive vaping scene here in Vegas, and I have not at all. So I'm going to be asking them questions about competitive vaping versus regular vaping, and what is necessary and what is not for what you want. So in competitive vaping, in cloud chucking, um, you want the lowest build you can get so it's hotter so you produce more vapor, correct guys? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So my first question is, is complicated builds necessary to reach the high volume clouds to win a competitive match? Are we starting competitive with match, kind of like CSGO? <laughs> A competitive yeah. vaping match. It's more like a, it's it's kind of like a tournament engine. So you know. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I asked the Aaron, question. You uh, need the answer, guys. Go ahead. Aaron, you sorry, first. You want to answer first? Call me first. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Wait, uh, we're both in, but okay. Um, I guess, I guess to an extent. Me myself personally, I just take like a normal, just like the one I'm running right now. Just take a couple wraps on 22, 24 gauge. Um. When you get down to the intense builds, like Fuse Clapton's and everything like that, it doesn't really matter, because those bring out the flavor a lot more. But when you're in a tournament, you don't, you don't care about the flavor. You care about uh, fire production, how hot it is. Like I was saying earlier, like to me, I'll just take a standard build over anything crazy. Okay. And Toto, what's your opinion on, uh, com on um, complex builds versus a simple mini coil or, or whatever coil just wrapped between what five and and eight times yeah um i'm gonna agree with palmer um uh, complicated coils are not exactly necessary for cloud competitions because at the end of the day what you do want is maximum efficiency of your coils and i mean spending all that time to make like what a 22 gauge fuse clapped in wrapped with 40 gauge it's gonna do the exact same thing from you know, vapor production standpoint as say the 20 gauge five wrap. So are complicated builds necessary for competition? No. Do you suggest someone going into competitive vaping and, um, and trying to do a tournament, um, and win? do you suggest they do a simple build and, and try to get it as low as possible? Or do you, do you want them to, to go in and learn how to make these a little more complicated builds? Um, is that just going to give them comfort in flavor and in um, warmth, or is that going to allow them to further themselves in, in competitive vaping? Well, I mean, again, complicated coils are not exactly necessary for the competition scene, so if someone did want to get into competing, I would just recommend just using a simple, straightforward build, no parallel, or I mean, par parallels sometimes, but like Clapton's aliens things like that 
I wouldn't really recommend for a competition setup, particularly because with the wire being so complex, if you're going for a low resistance build, it's easier for it to short, which would end up with a hot spot, which would be much worse than just a regular coil. Correct. Okay. So hot spot. with with that with the hot spot, we all know what that is. And uh poor Dalt Red kissing the coil last week, so that's always oh, fun. Bro. I know that feels I kissed a coil fucking Thursday night, and my lip is still pretty uh I, I full on I straight. Kissed the coil it, last it went, and I never made a mistake again. It it straight up went white as soon as it touched, like it blistered immediately. Mm. It was it was fucking gnarly. I couldn't fucking talk. Okay, so um for personal vaping, um, would you recommend people doing more complicated builds for that flavor intake? Because you said that it does increase the flavor, and this is the first time I'm using a Clapton build ever with organic cotton, and and I can do I can tell the difference. It's a lot warmer, mm -hmm. um, but I am also using the congested, so I have a lot more power behind each pull. So right. I'll have to I'll have to throw this on to this the Singeli hundred watt and, and maybe run it at forty watts to to really see that flavor intake. But do you suggest they do a complicated build for flavor and for heat? Um, and would you do a complicated build if you wanted low heat? Is it even possible with those those higher um, difficulty builds to get low heat and high flavor? Oh, definitely, definitely possible. I mean, you could do like a Say, for example, a fuse clapped in with two wires that are maybe 28 gauge, wrap them around with some 32. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it wouldn't be very warm at all. It would actually be rather cool. And the flavor would be amazing off of it. So, yeah, for personal vaping, for, you know, out of competition, um, if you are a flavor chaser, if you are a vapor that does prefer, you know, great flavor over, you know, vapor production, then by all means, go ahead and throw whatever complicated build you want into your RDA. Yeah. And on top of that, um, most casual vapors, I mean, I'm just going to go from the experience I've seen in Vegas. They're not really like, they're like me, personally. I don't build my own stuff because they're just like a lot of them. They don't build their own stuff. And they'll just, they just go to a shop say, could you just throw a belt on this? So a lot of those just natural vapors don't even know about these Clapton's, aliens, anything like that. They just do what they have. Mm -hmm. um, but the rare cases where I have a few friends who don't cop, they just like to build and vape. They do prefer, they, they like to try out new builds just to see it, but they do prefer the standard over anything else. Flavor-wise, I have, you know, I had a Clapton in one of my older mods. <clears throat> it did give it a little bit more flavor, but personally, I just I just prefer standard. Just wrap 22 a couple times, wrap 24 a couple times. I just, right. I, cloud-wise, juice-wise, love it. All right. So that was all the questions that I had. Um, for this video, I, I kind of wanted to s stick to two topics for this video. I didn't want to make it too long. We're already eight minutes in. Um, I just have a, la a last couple of things to say. Um, uh, or actually, questions. One, one question. Have um, For tank users, um, certain tanks take different kinds of coils. There, there, there's several different coils that can go in specific tanks, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now... With those coils, um, is that going to make a difference um, in how much cloud production come from tanks? Because I, I know a couple of tanks that uh, do produce quite a bit of cloud production, um, but also give that high amount of flavor. Um, would you ever recommend anybody using tanks in competitive vaping at all? Has it, been done? has it been done? It has been done. Yes, it has been done. And that question... I would recommend I would... it, man. Personally, I, I just I would not recommend it. Because... Nine times out of ten, you're just gonna get destroyed with someone with a, just a, a dripper, and they're just gonna fucking destroy you right there. Right. Um. But the thing about tanks, though, is yeah, some of them do take a specific coil, but again, they could translate. Like you can get like I mean, I keep saying fuse Claptons or normal Claptons. You can get Claptons inside your tank. You can get normal coils inside your tank. Like it See, depends on the tank know. you have. That I didn't yeah, know. You, you could differentiate. Like this one, I just have a standard coil. In this I can't really put anything else. But other things like the VCMT TF4, they could take certain different kind of coils and certain, uh, certain kinds of builds, mm -hmm. which kind of makes it different. And like I said, it's, it's a tank overall. Like if I wouldn't say you just wake up in the morning and think, Hey, I'm going to go to a comp with a tank. It's just not right. something I'd recommend. And, and Toto, you were going to say something. Go ahead uh, with, with your point. Yeah. My answer to that question is yes and no. 
because if you have a tank that is not rebuildable, if it has pre-built coils, I would definitely not recommend using that for a comp. However, if you do have an RTA or a rebuildable tank atomizer, then it would be a definitive maybe. Because there are tanks out there such as, say, the VCMT, as Palmer was talking about, mm -hmm. and also the tank that I ordered very recently, maybe like avocado. two hours ago. <laughs> yeah, the avocado tank, where you can build the coils. And with the avocado specifically, the deck is basically a dripper, but with a tank underneath that you can just feed your cotton down into. So if you have a tank like that where, I mean, it has the airflow of a dripper, it has the deck of a dripper, and you can build it just like it was a dripper, mm -hmm. then by all means, you know, use it in a comp if you'd like. Um, but again, if you're using pre-built coils, things that are typically meant for regulated devices as opposed to a mechanical, mm -hmm. then, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily take that into a comp just because, I mean, there's, you know, they're not meant for actual competition. Makes sense. Well, guys, I'm Dalt Red. This is Toto Package, and that's PV Palmer. And we, you heard it first from these guys. They're they're great guys. They they help me out tremendously with with my vaping adventures and and what I do here on YouTube. Um, praise to them. Thank you guys so much. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Dalt Red. Like, comment, Make subscribe. Sure to subscribe to PV Palmer. And he's always advertising his shit on my channel. <laughs> Peace!